What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Just Roll With It. My name is Grizzly, the DM. Guys, I think I see someone out there. What? I think I see someone coming towards us. Oh, my God. They probably can't see us, though. They probably just can hear us. Well, if you can hear me, I'm Charlie Slimesicle, and I play Gillian Tidestrider. Pretzels. Why are we Seeker. just introducing ourselves to these people? Well, I, well, I mean, we see them. We might as well let them know okay. that we, we don't uh, mean I'm any Disney. harm. I play Chip on the show. Guys, I don't, I don't feel comfortable introducing. Come myself. on, man. They're gonna Strangers. feel, they're gonna feel weird if they pull up and they don't even know Condi, who you are. Up. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm Condi, and I play Jeff Aaron. Um, don't hurt us, please. Don't hurt us. This spyglass allows me to see right through you. I see all your sins, and the Dark Lord will be pleased. The Dark? I don't think we should have told this guy our name. We shouldn't. He just wrote those down in a book. My, he wrote actually, book. actually, my name is Condi Fiction, and. I I played Jeff Aaron. It's actually crazy because we are all named Condifiction. Kind of it's hey, really. Wait, it's wait, like and a, I will also tell you our full us, legal name now. They call us. They call us the three Condies. Yeah, uh, they call us the Condominium. Oh, let's fucking go. welcome to Just Roll with It. Where are we last left off? The three of you! Chip! Killian! And Jay! Ah! Stop hitting us, DM! The audio listeners are gonna think you're hitting us every time you hit that bat now. I'm gonna- Cat ah! Of the rift ah! Tide ah! Pirates! Hey, ah! come on, get off of Condi! Who purposely fell into one of the many rifts opening around the Sun City during a solar I eclipse. I that she said that. Oh, ah! No, man! Thereafter, you landed in a field of tall, vibrant grass surrounded by trees that moved on their own to Form a path straight to a whimsical place called Cass's Carnival. Whisper again, and I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched them all moan. <laughs> At this carnival, you took packs with tickets, rode a unicorn carousel. Carousel, it's a great. It's a, what, how do you say that again? Car carousel. carousel. Oh, I got it right? Cool. Carousel. God, it's so fancy. Rode dragon fr flies, fries, and entered a hall of illusions dragon where pretzel. Flies. You hit yourself hard with that, was Batman. stolen. <laughs> Uh, from Gillian <laughs> by some ghoulish girl behind a pig mask. This event caused Gillian to make a pact of vengeance while Chip and Felipe ate churros and entered a maze of lollipops where at the end, the winner could speak to whomever they desired. While Jay and Gillian questioned a splicer beast named Durla, Chip spoke with Eden Tidestrider and witnessed something she didn't intend him to. Durla, uh, Durla, the displacer beast, sent the other two to the big top where they searched for the man in charge of this carnival, but only found a pixie and their weasel prepping for the big extravaganza. The two of you uh, uh, concocted a plan to gain the interest of Mr. Cass by putting on the best improv show that uh, the carnival had ever seen. You all headed to different attractions around the fairground in, sure, in search of props and cast, starting with the Pixie Kingdom, where you stole Winks the Excitable Flying Pug yeah. and a pixie you still haven't learned the name of. The three of you then split off, Jay getting a miniature endless keg of apple juice, and Gillian having a breakdown inside of a bubble in the sky, and Chip making an unknown deal with a mysterious merchant in exchange for a deck of cards. You, Chip went inside the Hall of Illusions after being called in from someone who was already inside the hall. Coming face to face with a very distinguished looking gentleman in a top hat with a rose, who revealed himself to be Mr. Cass and invited you to meet him in his tent post big top extravaganza. And so, the journey continues. All right, I think we were all just getting ready to moan. <laughs> we really were. <laughs> <laughs> we spun the batter I said the journey continues! Chip will just pick up back with you inside of the Hall of Illusions as you watch this tall, uh, well, well dressed and well presented, and, but also sort of mysterious Mr. Cass walk away after putting his top hat back on. And you also would notice that even though the glasses he was wearing, one was cracked there and they're clear glasses, because of the reflections in the room of the mirrors, it obscured his eyes and his face. Rick, I'm going to walk out of of this place from where I came in. I'm not going back through the mirrors. All right, where are you going? Uh, as I walk by the mirrors, I go, fuck that. Go back out towards Talk the mime. I want to move out and create a wall in front of him. Yeah. At this moment, you you would actually see the mime not even paying attention to your like uh, your presence, but just kind of sitting down on the edge of the Hall of Illusions, 
uh, and just hands in the face, making like this crying motion with his shoulders going up and down and shrugging, but you can't hear anything. And then I, I'm trying to make like a stage thing, but it really just looks like I'm touching the air and it doesn't really make a lot of it's sense. It's a shame that mimes can't hear people. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, actually. why are you miming to him? Because I'm a mime. Oh, that's right. I want him to come because I'm going to go dance on the stage and I want him to dance with me. We're putting on a show. I'm trying to convey oh. that, but I don't know oh, how oh, to. So okay, he's okay. just like, it just looks confusing. All right. So I'll say because it looks confusing, just roll persuasion with disadvantage. Okay. First one's a 10. Last one's a 6. That is a 17. He looks at you and he like picks him up, himself up slowly. <sighs> breathes out a, lo a loud sigh. Uh, he gestures towards the ticket or the Hall of Illusions and looks at his ticket puncher and then uh, sort of like makes this mind like, how do I how do I do my job and go with you? Like I raise my hands far up in the air so as to say, oh, and I start walking. Oh. <laughs> and I like look back and I do like a big like gesture sound and every gesture I have has sound effects, <laughs> yeah, no, by it the does. way. It does here for sure. It's like, whew, whew. and then when I scratch my eyes, like, ee, 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 ee. <laughs> okay. oh my God. Yeah, you actually hear the sounds of him of a, whew, and then the sounds of a trash can, ding, 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 but it just lands on the ground, the ticket puncher. Hmm. And uh, he starts to follow you along, but he's still kind of hunched back. So we're, we're like marching like this. Well, like, he's with not. Arms up. He's definitely not. He's I so look really at sad. I look, I turn around and yeah, I, I, I stop so slowly. Bad. I look at him, I stare him dead in the fucking eyes. I want him to do it. <laughs> Roll intimidation. Seven. He backs away and then turns around and starts walking you back to the ticket punch. I run around. <laughs> I, go, I wave my hands. He's not facing you anymore. He's just waddling back. I go and I grab him by the shirt and I pull him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he can't scream. But uh, he like opens his mouth and pretends to scream and is like like, like clutching his throat. Like <laughs> I, I drag his fucking ass all the way to the tent. It's like a fucking I am, I am, I am, I've had it. We're doing the improv show. I, I drag him. I step on Jay along the way accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I drag his ass in there. It looks like a Bo Burnham sketch. Jay, you're still pushing. Can we get a, can we get a sound of that? Hi, I'm Jay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> some, some juice, some juice comes out and it starts drowning you. What sound do you make? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not stopping. It doesn't stop. That's good. Uh, 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 Apple, Apple sees you and loves you, but doesn't know how to convey it because you're so small. She picks you up. She starts spinning you around. She starts yeah. flying around, flying around in a circle. <clears throat> a bigger hawk starts chasing after Apple. <laughs> Who made you the DM? Uh, <laughs> dude, he was just making some great sounds. Oh, you want a DM? You want a DM? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, you DM now. I'll play Gillian. G. G. We have kill, to kill them. You get Gillian, you sound so strange. We have to kill the. We have to kill the hags, Jay. Jay, we Is have to kill the hags. Hi, Gillian. Hello. Gillian, can you roll a D one hundred? No, fuck you. <laughs> I'll roll it for him. Eighty. Okay, you regain. You get eighty levels. Um, Chip, can you roll me a D one hundred? Thirty-eight. Chip, you take thirty-eight psychic damage as you realize. Realize what? You realize what you are. <laughs> Jay, can you roll a d100? 73. Nice. Yeah. What has happened to Jay? <laughs> it's a good number. Thought it was a good number. Out of here. Dude, go. Dude, go. angry emoji. Go. Dude, go. angry emoji. Go. Flushed go. emoji. Go. Flushed emoji. Go. Fuck. Dude, go. there's literally go. a bat right there that you could have used to threaten him. You want some? Maybe I do. Uh, you want some? Maybe I do. Back off. Sorry, we're playing uh, musical chairs with the with the um, the DMC Does right now. Does a twenty eight hit your armor class? Uh, I'm chip, so yeah, really any anything yeah, can hit me. So you take, I take um, it. No damage, and you get. I'd like to take damage. Can I choose to take 56, damage? Fifty six thousand gold. Now, Gillian. <laughs> I start throwing it into the ocean. I start throwing all of my gold into the ocean because I've changed. I and I'd like to change. Gillian, what is your what is your what is your armor class? I uh, I take all of my armor off. I'd like you to make a wisdom saving throw. Yes. I'm very good at that. Um, 12. You just made that up. <laughs> you feel a strange energy envelop you, and you have the sudden urge to take your armor and dismantle it entirely I and destroy that. it. Gillian, I actually think you have an item that makes you immune to mental effects. What are you guys doing? That wasn't... I ripped the necklace off that I slowed. Oh! <laughs> no! I slowed and gave that to you! I'd like to make a sleight of hand check to steal all of his things and keep them in a secret safe that I, none of us remember where it is. Can we end the bit now? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm really committing to it. I don't know. I, I kind of like it over here. I'm going to end the bit now. Get out of my- Almost there! 
<gasps> hey, wait a minute. Why am I throwing all this gold? Why is Jay in labor? <laughs> Where did Gillian land after he popped a bubble and cried himself uh, to himself? Yeah, I land outside the feasting orchard and it catches my eye. You find yourself at a bouncy house. <gasps> no, shot. 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 Okay, um, uh, do, sir. Sir. Yes? <gasps> Who's, or, or ma'am? Oh, that's me. Felipe? No. <laughs> My oh, name so is, uh, everyone is starting to sound like him because he's who I need right now. <laughs> no, it's uh, I'm actually somebody completely different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me your name now. Um, Periwinkle. Your name is Periwinkle. You can call me Perry. I'm oh. a platypus. <laughs> I just don't understand how a platypus could speak. Um, I don't know why I wrote down Perry the platypus. This whole place, this whole, <laughs> did you do you like what I wrote on your journal, by the way? What the fuck? I am now level eighty. I eat babies. <laughs> 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 Uh, how old is this kid? This this man is like at least fifty years old. Oh, okay. Uh, I uh, it, the the saliva stops creating in my mouth because he's no baby, and um, <laughs> I, I I I say, listen, some some terrible things have happened recently, and I have just been looking for a way to bounce back, and I think you've got just the way. Oh, you betcha, baby. Let me punch that ticket and get you soaring. Right on. Okay, I, I give Perry the platypus my <laughs> ticket. <a> drug deal. <laughs> He drop on your ticket and draw your bouncy house. Opens up the little net. Okay, Barry the plant. Is he wearing a hat as well? It's actually like a like a like a clown hat. Oh, that it's makes completely sense? different. Yeah, like like a jester hat with the bells on the end of it. Yeah, that's okay. what he's wearing. That's cool. <laughs> okay, Barry the plant blues. You're welcome. All right, I walk inside and uh, I start slowly bouncing. As soon as you walk inside, rather than bouncing, you start drifting afloat. In a sea of stars, very Just wanted to serene <laughs> and peaceful. There's and if nothing you try to, to bounce. You might roll an athletic check. I'd like to roll to bounce. Sixteen. Wait, sixteen. When you I bounce, just th I just start thrashing my legs. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, well, you <laughs> whenever you start thrashing, instead of you do bounce, but the area around you almost like hyper light. Um, what is that? Light speed. Yeah. Everything around you starts to blur into these streaks of glowing white light, and you're like zooming upwards, and it feels like you're soaring faster than you ever had before. It's absolutely magical. Curse you, Perry the Platypus! <laughs> <laughs> before you know it, as those streaks of light are, 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 are surrounding you, and you feel this sensation of jumping higher, like you're jumping to the moon almost, it feels like you rip out of the bouncy castle. And you're once again like floating, almost this? like like higher than you've ever been, right above the uh, the carnival. How does this keep happening to me? And then you start to plummet at just the same speed, all the way down uh, to the bouncy castle. And then you land on this very bouncy uh, uh, trampoline-like surface. And my inside. sword accidentally pop out. <laughs> <laughs> so it just starts deflating with me inside. Um, uh, roll, roll, uh, roll a d6. Okay. On a three or higher, yes. On a three or higher? Fuck, two. Okay, so you just sink into it. So bouncy. You get the sensation as soon as you uh, hit the trampoline like uh, like surface, it's going to spring you back up, but this time anywhere you imagine. Anywhere? Oh, I have a cool idea. I want to check in on all the islands we've been to and see how everyone's doing. So I want to bounce above the first island. So, uh, um... Zero. Fucking zero. Yeah, zero first and then zero, lost a lot. Lost I can. As a boyoing, you get shot up and again, there's that light speed uh, surrounding effect around you. And then you almost like pop out of a, a bubble or you feel like you're tearing through the bouncy house. And then you're once again above uh, this bright blue, like dark royal blue ocean. And you see that, cir uh, that circular island with uh, that, that sort of builds up onto this mountaintop. And, uh, uh, and you see there's no longer that tall navy tower that you guys had broken out of but you also notice that there's also a severe lack of any kind of construction as you see a lot of destruction essentially oh shit you see many houses that have been uh, um blown to pieces or or just damaged in some other way as if like a giant storm came through um but you do still see you know as they look like tiny little ants um Still a good amount of, of foot traffic around the city, and it looks like they're beginning to rebuild. Okay. And this is different than, like, we didn't cause this destruction, right? It, this is something else? This is something that happened after you left. Okay. So what it looks like to you as you're starting to plummet down now, it looks like there was a big battle here. Huh. It's over, and there is no more Navy Tower. And uh, 
I believe zero is where Ollie is from. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You come down into the bouncy house. Yeah. You're once again feeling Whoa. yourself spring back on this really like rubbery trampoline like texture, and then you're going to, to laugh a lot. We're going to laugh a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you explode back up into the sky. You see that same blue ocean and the rectangular island, except rather than it just being one street <gasps> uh, uh, that goes from one end of the island no. to the next, they have multiple sprawling uh, webs of roads that have carved into the forest around it and build different buildings. And there's honestly, there's this really big sort of like construction house warehouse where they're building different ships and boats. Uh, um, they're, a lot of it looks like back. an improvement from the Albatross, but uh, um, as if they've been doing it for a while now and getting better and better Can and I building different wife? kinds of ships. Uh, you look for Chip's wife. Mm -hmm. You don't see Chip's wife there. Amanda Ren. But you can you can roll a perception check. I'd like to roll a perception check. It is really check. hard to see people, like specific people. it is people. my destiny to check it. She's gone, she's gone, she's gone. We have gone, such a gone, healthy she's relationship. Gone, she's, gone, she's, gone, she's, gone, she's gone, she's gone, she's gone. Oh, fuck. Uh, just a 10. Just 10. Yeah, you don't, like I said, you don't see Chip's wife. You do, however, see... Um, Neither does he. <laughs> you, have, you see multiple docks now rather than just a shore and a few ships going in and out. I don't see Chip's wife, but is his wife seeing anyone? <laughs> if his wife was seeing someone else, would that get Chip out of jail? I think they just both had to die. No, I was just making a pun. But I would have to kill them both, yeah. This time you land in the trampoline and you just bounce up and down real softly. And it was, uh, it almost sort of like, after going on a really fast roller coaster, you get that sort of winded excitement, thrilling feeling that you're left over with. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I did, I did, Harry. I have a question for you, though. Do you do improv? Uh, <laughs> do I? I'm so fucking bad at improv, dude. Dude, that's the beauty of improv. <laughs> no one's good at improv, Perry. What do you say? <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> like you've been on four things. I, I just up. see a platypus <laughs> and a hat on the ground. <laughs> Damn it! I, I run off and try and find Perry. Um, no, I'm, I'm gonna head. Uh, if that's what's there. Um, I guess I'll head to. As the... you're running past, like the feasting orchid, you hear like music and jolly uh, people eating and singing. And there's a lot of cake. Mm, is she hungry? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, since I have no money anyway, I can't go to the shop. So I guess I'll go to the, the orchard then and see what's going on. Yeah, okay. In a very weird place between incredibly angsty and high on life after a fun, funny bouncy house. It's Jay, is sucks. there anything you'd like to do to take a break from pushing your apple juice? I don't know what everybody else is up to. I don't have an easy time with their <laughs> small pixie bodies. What's this funny fairy ring up here? Below the gondola swans. Below the gondola swans. Are you making these up or are these you real? Know, I literally it. have I'm gonna no take, idea. I'm going to go on this gondola swans. Every single time you go somewhere that isn't labeled, I have to make it up. Yeah, but the coolest ones are the ones that aren't labeled so far, so we keep making shit up. So fucking true. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs this fucking book? I, I, I feel like Silver Song Lake would be funner than gondola swans. There's no real, there's no real tense. Jay comically drowns. <laughs> yeah. Chip, is there anything that you're doing? Always. I'm bringing the mime to the place. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'll say by now you've definitely got him over there. I'll take him into the, into where the audience will sit and I just go, like I point at him, you sit here. He nods and then sits crisscross applesauce. Where are you going now? Uh, I'm going to find Gillian. Does he see me fucking like, zooping in and out a thousand meters. Does he just see me going, Wee! You know when you watch people do like the, the bungee jumping ride at different? Yeah. That's kind of what it looks like. Okay. Except they just sort of whoop, pull it out of existence in the sky, whoop, come gotcha. back. Uh, then you definitely find, would find Gillian in the feasting orchid, uh, orchid, where he looks like he's about to sit down, if you want, at a table full of different assortment of cupcakes and cakes. Before we get to that, do you fix your size at all? Or are you just Pixie Jay? No, Jay doesn't think about that. So Jay has a hard time seeing anything whenever she gets to uh, the Silver Song Lake because of your size. This place fucking sucks. <laughs> this blows. But I'll say if you roll like in athletics or acrobatics, you could climb on somebody's shoulder. Natural 20. Whoa! Right, easy enough, you get high enough, you can see that there is this, um, there's like mist gathering uh, at the banks of the shimmering lake. With a natural 20, surely she has little pixie wings, right? Yeah. <laughs> but because you had pixie dust sprinkled on you, you can float a little bit. And near the center of this lake is like a giant, ornate, well-decorated fishbowl. And in the center is this very beautiful mermaid who seems to be swirling in, uh, 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 in preparation for some kind of show. Yeah, for the improv show. <laughs> <laughs> 
all around you are people like excitedly waiting for this uh, this mermaid to I'm start, start doing swimming something. towards the mermaid. Like in the air. Sure. Okay, you're gonna be going over a pretty big body of water, so go ahead and roll Arcana to see if you can control your flight. Sixteen plus four twenty thirty. All right, so that'll get you about uh, uh, you know ten feet. So you'll have to do two more rolls that yeah. fail, but not yet. But not yet. Okay. After that first, after that, that first roll, anyway. I just start swimming across this uh, this lake. You start to hear sort of haunting this melody come out. Uh, uh, of this uh, of this mermaid who starts who begins to sing. Wow, this is this is oddly familiar. This is just like that it one does, time. It does. It does sound like a siren song. And from behind you, go ahead and roll again for your arcana. Yeah, I got a nineteen that time. All right, that's fine. As you get about halfway across the lake, you begin to hear people in the background heckle. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd love this song if I wanted to be dead. You can see as a, as as a, that mean spirited uh, person shouts out. It affects the the mood of the mermaid. But she, she, she continues to try to keep going. Natural 20, so she shugs that off. And uh, roll your last check. Oh, that's a 20 again, dirty. Jeez, man. How do you fucking fly so well? I don't know. <laughs> it's <laughs> like I'm meant for this. man. <laughs> Gee, I wanted you to fall in the water. I actually really wanted to fall into the water, too. I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe <laughs> the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Well, as soon as you get to the tank, you're sort of floating in front of it. Uh, and you you don't lock eyes with the mermaid who has her eyes closed. And this mermaid is like beautiful. She's like completely teal blue with like golden eyeshadow and, and like a golden bathing suit top uh, and flowing purple blue uh, thin hair, thin like hair. And uh, uh, she begins to continue singing. Do you say anything? Oh my God, you're so fucking beautiful and so talented. You're so good at singing. You should do an improv show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm actually legally obligated to compliment everybody I see still. Um... But, the, you know, that one comes from the heart, I swear. <laughs> All right, roll persuasion with disadvantage. <laughs> awesome. Someone from behind you yells out, Nine. You're ugly! That's just not true. Come on. Oh, persuasion. Nine plus two is 11. Unfortunately, you start to realize that she can't hear you because you're so small. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and she's behind a glass in water, but she does hear someone shout, You're ugly! And that really affects her. So she begins to stop singing. And oh, her no. eyes, uh, uh, her eyes begin to like uh, show signs of, uh, of of anxiousness. No, come on! You knock it on the glass now. <laughs> yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Come I'll on! See, I'll roll to see if she notices. It. <laughs> yeah. So she she catches your gaze, and you guys meet your eyes. You're so awesome and cool and talented. And I think you'd be really great in an improv show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll again. Disadvantage. <laughs> Damn it, eight. <laughs> yeah, you. She she like points to her ear. It's like I can't hear you. And then right again, right behind you, someone yells, "Come on!" I shoot him. You shoot him? <laughs> You're tiny gun. She's tiny. You won't even be like a splinter. <laughs> Roll a hit. Nineteen. Okay, use a D four of damage. <laughs> that is it. That'll show you a three. Yeah, let's go. What? Are there bugs in? <laughs> What's that? I'm allergic to bugs. I gotta get out of here. Uh, and then that person leaves, and you see that the mermaid uh, uh, is going to. As, uh, looks like she's about to run off, rush off, um, but then notices this tiny little pixie shoot like a <laughs> like a blast of pixie dust that just shoots forward and it shuts that person up. Nobody time to shoot all the hecklers. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, go for it. Roll twice. Roll twice. Roll hit twice. Uh, that's fifteen. That hits. Uh, twenty six. That hits. Two d four. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Three again. Yeah. You're a menace. And two. Ow! Ow! That's what you hear in the, in the, in the fucking crowd. People start to like sort of dissipate. Uh, and this gives, this sort of distraction gives the mermaid uh, an opportunity to open up her tank and sort of uh, slither out into the lake below. Um, and she swims off uh, just a bit away to sort of get our, get the cr crowd eyes off of her. And I uh, say so you're allowed to follow if you want. Yeah, I follow. Absolutely. <laughs> she pokes her head out of the water. And again, I like her. her her skin glistens, and she just looks uh, very captivating. And she says, "Little fairy." Hi, I'm Jay. Nice to meet you. Actually, no, my my You're my, Jort. Technical, my technical name now is Jorts. <sighs> I do apologize for ending my performance, but no, I appreciate you're... your help with the hecklers. Your singing was beautiful, and so are you. I think you do great on stage. I think you need to join our improv show. <laughs> improv show. You know what improv is? I do not. Me neither. No one in this carnival apparently knows what improv is. <laughs> 
also, it's so fake, dude. We're taking the we're taking the fucking wall down, man. We're taking down the man. We're showing him I real am, real um, comedy. I am not aware what improv is, but I do use, or I strive to use my voice to bring wonder and and beauty into the world. And I, I do it without even thinking, without even planning, without any preparation. <laughs> Jesus I just get in my my tank and I sing to the masses. But wow. lately, there's been hecklers that come to my show and say nasty things without preparation or planning. Is this that improv? That you speak of? It's basically that, and I'll tell you what, you need to get yourself a gun. Like the film The Joker. Oh right. my god. <laughs> oh fuck, man. <laughs> she doesn't know what improv comedy is, but she, she loves The Joker. <laughs> she, <laughs> actually, fuck. she actually says, she says, uh, I think you jest as this carnival does not allow violence. And Of course I jest, and I didn't show those people earlier. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a silly little fairy. That's me. Do you <laughs> come from Pixie Kingdom? Are you a new hire? No. Yes. No. Deception. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, 18. Well, I think I need a break from my own solo stage. If you wish me to be a part of your improv group, I can consider. But I don't know if I have the heart these days as my lover and his moment to propose. Had his voice stolen. Oh, that's terrible. Listen, I'm sure that if you do this improv show with a heart, the heart will come back to you. And maybe, maybe the voice will come back to your lover and, and, and you'll be happy and married or something. I don't know. This, this I just, I'm not trying to push this too hard, but <laughs> improv can save your life, probably. I don't know if I believe you, so roll persuasion. Absolutely. With advantage, because that's awesome. Let's you're, go. you're great. You're great. Nice. <laughs> um, 19, actually. The first one was a 14. Perhaps getting on a bigger stage at the extravaganza will remind me what it feels to sing and bring people joy. Singing just hasn't been the same. Whenever I sing to the one I love, his face fills with color. He listens like no other. Who's your love? I'll make sure he's at the show. His name... Timothy. His full name is Timothy Leaf. Timothy Leaf. His name is Timothy Leaf. He's here in the carnival. I can't bear to see him. Not when he can't speak or listen. Mr. Cass has let him work here as a mime. Oh, while mime, he's eh? missing his voice. Oh, wait. Is he the one of the hollow, hollow illusions? That guy? I believe so. Oh, yeah. I can make sure. That guy definitely will come to our show. Guarantee it. I'll make him. See if he can hear me. Can he hear me? I'm really small. I don't know if you'll see me. I really need to not be small anymore. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I can um, give you a ride to the Pixie Kingdom? Nah, it's okay. I'll swim. <laughs> well, allow me to accompany you. I have been alone for a little while. Absolutely. The pixie dust falls off. She falls into the water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Splash. I'll just say that you uh, swim very slowly. And uh, she's like blowing the water to give you a current in the water as she swims, uh, uh, you know, flawlessly. You guys, uh, Chip, you would actually, so you first, as you arrive, you see this like really uh, big. I have a, I have a, I had actually had a question, a quick question before yes. I. Um, yes. I was going to say if I could pick up this uh, weird platypus that was where, uh, where, where Perry left and use it as a prop potentially in the show. <laughs> you just pick it up? Yeah. I'll, I'll say you can pick it up. I mean, it's up. just like a platypus. Like it won't mind. It's, yeah, a, platypus. it's a platypus. Like, okay, what cool. Oh, cool! A platypus. I, I pick it up. <laughs> so I can I can go on and find Gil pretty easily. Yeah, but I want to I want to see if Gil uh, takes the basically as soon as you arrive, Gil, someone gestures to the big table and people starting to sit down. One ticket punch, and you participate in the cupcake eating contest. I give it to I give him my ticket. I look him in the eyes and I say, I need this. <laughs> the goal is in six minutes. My like, heart is empty, will this fill is, it? Is it six minutes? I don't care. I'll just keep going. Six minutes? <laughs> Until In 60 me. seconds, how many cupcakes can you eat? If you vomit, you're disqualified. Oh, you, sir, are you coming to join the contest? I'm just like walking around, looking around with my <laughs> finger on my nose. <laughs> we have one seat left. Huh? Oh. Oh, hey, Gil. Hey, Chip. You see, he's like clearly been crying and has a plot up. I'm a, I have like a, I have like a mime, mime face on still. I walk up. What did oh, they man. do to you, Chip? 
Kevin, what's on your mind? Get it? Take it off. <laughs> okay. Snap my fingers and it's <sighs> gone. They didn't make you sign anything, did they? No. You have one of them? Are you okay? Nope. And you know what? I think maybe this will help. And this will fill the hole inside me that I feel. That's the spirit! I don't okay. love sweets, but I know someone that does. <laughs> I look down at the, the empty tag. Say no more. Isn't that right, Mr. Platypus? Okay, I take... I, I take the... I take the uh, you have uh, the platypus? I have the platypus. Don't I wanna, take it from me. I want to take the ball from you <laughs> where, where Bretzel was. Yeah. Okay. I just kind of stuff it away. <laughs> That's all I had left of her. Gonna, I'm going to give it back when she's in there. But for right now, hey, I'm right here. We're going to get some cupcakes. Okay. <laughs> Only Perry were here. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey, little guy. What's up? Uh, do you know Perry? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. All right. Sure, come he, on. He ha, ha, come say. on, sit down. Let's, uh... So what do we win if we eat them all? I sit down and I just start eating them. <laughs> what do you win? What do you win? What do you win? What do you win? You get this. And it's a cupcake. I, I grab him in. Listen, my friend's going through a really hard time. And I think if you don't give him that cupcake right there, he is going to explode. So you need to make sure everyone else here loses. Or I will. Gillian has his face in the icing. <laughs> He's having a really hard day. I think you can see that over there. Oh, Gil, please, not on, not in the eyes, man. Hey, listen Keep here, your bud. Eyes. Get your hands off me before I call security, all right? This game is a fair game with children, you goddamn psychopath. You want to play this game and win this cupcake? Did you, you better say eat some children? Suddenly, I'm even hungrier. <laughs> you want to win this Gil? cupcake? You're going to win it fair and What, Chip? I eat kids. My friend is going to kill everyone here. <laughs> Okay? I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Someone took his frog to puss. Things are not looking good. Okay? I, I he's holding a cupcake. You Did you from... take her? <laughs> Was it you? <laughs> he is not in his right mind. All he needs is that cupcake and everything will be fine. Okay? I can't stop him. You can't stop him. He is the chosen one. And you can't stop me. <laughs> I'm going to get you thrown out of this carnival. Okay, honestly do that. At this point, I don't know why we're here. It's really starting to get crazy. Chip, do you want to play this fun Please. game with me? Yes, I do, Gail. I'll be over in just a second. Yay. We're going to have lots of fun. I'm seriously worrying for, worrying for my own sanity and the sanity of my friends. And I really, really need someone to help me out right now. Even if he loses, just give him something to make him think he won. And then we'll go find his frog to puss, and it'll be over. He's had a very hard You day. can roll persuasion, but disadvantage. First one is a 12. Second one is a natural 20. Oh. Fuck me. 12 plus 11 is 23. Nice. I still win <clears throat> that shit. That's how we do it, baby. I'll see what I can do. You sit okay. down, you play the game fair, and I'll make sure your friend gets a prize. Thank you. But honestly, when you're that depressed, you tend to win these competitions anyways. I'm going to cast Enhance Ability on myself <laughs> <laughs> to give to give myself... Uh, I, I'll pick I'll pick Constitution um, and I'm just going to like <clears throat> fucking expel all the air in my lungs to make room for all of the cup. Okay. I, I watch him do this. I look back. I just don't know that I want to take the chance. He punches your ticket and uh, he says to sit down next to Gillian. You watch him like pad off of his his uh, his uh, uniform and he puts a hand out and you see this really big hulking bugbear with like mm -hmm. a pumpkin head on, and he just like takes a seat again. I I come and I sit down. I'm sitting kind of like cocked back. I look over at the the bear with the pumpkin head. I go. So yeah, it's a bugbear. Yeah. Stop. <sighs> okay. And let the contest begin! 60 seconds, roll your first constitution saving throw! It is my destiny to consume! Constitution, uh, constitution! Okay, constitution saving throw? Perfect. Uh, wait, wait, yes, yep, yo. Is it not con? It is con save. Oh, yep, thank sorry. god. Every time you pass a con save, you will eat three, or you eat six cupcakes. Oh my god. Oh, it's a save. It's a save to not throw it up. You don't get my bonus. I'm I'm sorry, man. I want this is for me right now. You see, as that warmth pulls away, and you see a steely determination in your friend's eyes to eat as much as humanly possible to make the pain go so away. So you can eat six cupcakes, but if you eat one more, if you eat any more than that, you have to like. So I'm just eat... gonna start consuming at a rapid pace. So, I don't, okay, I don't you care just, what the rules are. Just tell me. So here, here you go. I, I'm slowly like pulling off the paper, and I'm just like. In about three seconds, you can uh, you can. Eat as many cupcakes as three plus your con modifier. And if you eat any more than that, you have to tell me how much more. How many are on the plate? There's an infinite amount of cupcakes. I eat 20. <laughs> what? What? 
Okay, in 60 seconds, right? Yeah, this is the first three seconds. Okay, in the first three seconds, you eat your wood cookie. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> can you do that? You can eat six cupcakes per every three seconds, but if you eat any more than six, you need to roll a con save and tell me how much. In three seconds, I can eat six cupcakes? <laughs> I'd like to eat 20 cupcakes as well. I'd like to eat 21 now. I'd like to eat 30 cupcakes. <laughs> I'd like to eat 40. Okay, I'd like to eat 41 cupcakes. Never mind, I'm gonna have two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so for the 40 cupcakes of Gillian. Um, I'm slowly eating too. I meant that. Okay, 40, I just wanted 40. to like up the ante with Gil. I mean, right, I'm gonna eat this many. You see his fucking like dark flames come out of him and he starts just consuming as fast as he can. All right, first roll is I get advantage because I have enhanced ability. Uh, 16 plus it was his destiny, plus two is 18, 21 plus. 28, would that succeed or fail? Um, with 41 gut cakes? Yeah. Okay, um... Tell me, just tell me, because I... Just How much is it? <laughs> what did you roll? 18 plus 7, so that would be 25? The, 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 the fucking DC is impossible, dude. <laughs> <laughs> With 41 cupcakes. Can I just try and eat as many as possible as that? I'll tell you what, you can eat all those cupcakes, you're just gonna take some damage. Okay, that's fine. Um, but you definitely that's... fail the, the DC because of how many you ate. <laughs> how many, how the many, DC is 35. The DC is 35? Can I see how close to it I can get? Yeah. I'm gonna use Favored by the Gods um, <laughs> to add 2d4 to this fucking stupid saving throw. That's another two, so 27. Seven. Seven. Uh, 28. 28 total is my total is my total save. Damn, that's really close. If yeah. you had ate like 35 cupcakes, you could have made it. Well, I wanted 41. All right, well, you... <laughs> I guess. You only eat two cupcakes? Yeah. You don't have to make a save, you just eat two cupcakes. So Gillian eats 41 cupcakes, <laughs> but takes 20 custard damage. <laughs> custard damage. Holy shit, fucking custard damage. That's the funniest <laughs> shit ever, dude. All right, how many are you gonna eat in round two? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some of the, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna dip my fingers and do we get like, oh, here's what I'll do. Okay, we got a glass. I'm gonna like put some of my water in it, dip my fingers in, and I'm going to basically make the lay on hands flavor that I'm doing that thing they do in hot dog eating contests. Oh. You know, where they mix in the, the oh, bread no, with the water. Man. And I'm gonna, oh. Uh, oh no. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna lay on hands myself back for uh, for 20. Um, if that's all right. That would be cheating. Yeah, you would get disqualified if you drink anything or if you use any magic or oh, any sort of- Oh, well I just of did both of those things. Well, you use uh, enhanced ability before the contest started. Yeah. So that's fine. No, I mean, I made, I literally did a hot dog water bet. So that's like all of the boxes checked. Should well, I, yeah, I'll I'm... say you can take it back because I wasn't able to tell you the rules. Okay. You just won't get 20 hit points back. Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. All right. right. Can I just do it purely for flavor? <laughs> yeah, you can do it all for right, flavor. Sick. All right. How many, how many cupcakes are you eating in round two? 43. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'll do, um, how many is the, how, how many is the bugbear doing? I look over. How, how's he doing? He's security. He's oh. not doing anything. Oh, shit. Uh, who else is in the contest? Is it just Me. us? It's you two, and, um, there's a few other contestants, but the only one that seems to be keeping up with you, Gillian, okay. is a small gnome Holy with shit. an albino frog. <laughs> Dark Felipe. Just a raw, uh, so, no, just like an actual regular small frog it's literally the frog but it isn't a frog to puss yeah it's just a small albino frog <laughs> with red eyes you remind me of her it's also <laughs> it's also smiling it looks really fucking cute okay i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat 30 again okay uh this this gnome is gonna match you for 30. i'm just like eating it you got it gil you go man <laughs> all righty go ahead and roll me a con save eat you'll, those feelings you'll never be her you'll never be her. eat those feelings uh, b -b 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 uh, tw uh, 23. The DC was 24. Fuck! No! <laughs> <laughs> no, man. All right. Um, you take. Wait, I didn't use. I'm going to use. Uh, uh, oh, I already did it. Never mind. I can't use that anymore. Um... Sorry. I do nothing. I die. You take 22 points of cluster damage. All right. Gillian's looking. Um. Wounded? He just looks. He looks sick, not wounded. <laughs> <laughs> How many ship eating this round? There's one? I'll have another. You're not even trying. I guess I'll have one. I'm just here for, for Gillian. All right, man. Whatever, dude. Coward! The gnome is going to eat 50 cupcakes. 50? Gil. I can't do that. That's How does crazy. Gillian look right now? 
bad. He looks rough, dude. Like the like what what how would you describe his appearance or his like you, emotional state? You've, and you've seen him wet, but you've never seen him sweat. How about I put it like that? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> they the the gnome that is actually competing with you now is um well she's she's starting to look a little queasy, but she's going for the big fifth five zero. Okay, so have I been able to track how many she's at or no? Um. You guys would be like even now. That's why she's going for the big 50. Oh, so she's going to have 50 total. Yeah, she's been keeping up with you and now she's trying to race ahead. Oh, okay. She's going for 50. I'm going to eat 50. I'm going to eat 50 cupcakes. Okay. She's trying to eat 50 cupcakes in the last stretch, like total, not previous, like new cupcakes, 50 new cupcakes. Oh, that's also what I'm doing. Yes. That is. Okay. I am going to try and discreetly flick little chips of wood into those cupcakes. <gasps> you fiend, you're gonna give her a splinter. Um, you have to roll a sleight of hand. Okay. Against the uh, the security and the t ticket puncher guy's perception. 23. Okay, what are you trying to do with the wood chips? Um, so I really just want to take uh, just something that I would have in my inventory, maybe like, I mean, I have like a, like a hammer. I, like, ha what's I have the goal? stuff. I have stuff with wood. I just want to like chip off little pieces and put them in the cupcakes of the frog so that that will slow them down. The person eating isn't the frog. It's that it's the little gnome. I pretty much want to make it harder for that whoever is challenging Gillian to eat those 50 cupcakes. Uh, they'll roll their con save at disadvantage. Okay. Nice. You're, yeah, but you're lucky Thank no one you. saw you. How far is a... 17 plus 7 is 24. 24. How far is a 24 going to get me on 50 cupcakes? You mean a 44 DC? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Pretty far. How do you want to do this, DM? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I've got the uh, custard damage dice right here. How many uh, How many cupcakes can I get oh, before so I Oh, there's so many custard damage. It is. It's like a handful. <laughs> I can Just, take it. I can take it. If it's more than 84, or wait, is that your full hit point? Yeah, if he does more than that to me. I don't want to know. Okay, fine. This would be such a way to go, though. But he'll die There's forever. no other way I'd rather go. I don't care. I'll tell you what the gnome gets for, I their, don't care. for their con save, which they're rolling at disadvantage. That's a four and a five. So they also fail. Very, very, okay, very fail. Okay, okay. So you are both going to take this. But we're both going to... How many cupcakes do we get respectively in our mouths? You get all 50. Yeah, baby! Yeah, yeah, It's just when you fail the con save... You die. That's <laughs> so many. It is. That is uh, 10d6. <laughs> well, maybe, you, maybe he rolled a one on all of them. How much hey, damage do I take? You and the gnome take 35 points of custard damage. Gillian's down. He's down! <laughs> no! Gillian's well, down. Funnily enough, the gnome also <laughs> face first into the table <laughs> alongside with you. Chip, how many cupcakes have you eaten? <laughs> Four? Three? <laughs> Three, I'm working on a four. <laughs> I think this one's boysenberry. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Time is running out. Five, four, three, Gil. Just, two. Just stick your head up. I like hold his head up. <laughs> one. Do you hold his, is his eyes shut? No, I like hold. I'm like You're holding, holding his, his eyes open. Holding his eyes. I don't want to do it to you, but like <laughs> holding his <laughs> eyes open, holding <laughs> him up. Vengeance. And I'm Vengeance. trying to make it look like he's up. Performance against check. The and I want to start mumbling things that he would say. <laughs> performance, performance, performance. This is my destiny. He's coming um, backwards from me. Two. Wait. Can I make a death save to see if I get a nat 20 and pop back up? <laughs> make it, make it, make it. 22. I got a 14. That's not going to do it. All right. Well, you're still not dead, at least. And we have a winner! I raise his arm up. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, this is my destiny! Oh, yeah, you did it, Gil. And, and with that, as soon as he declares friend. a winner, best friend too, Gil. he snaps his fingers, and everyone at the table who's taking any damage suddenly pops back up at full health. Oh, my God, no shot! And, uh, Gillian, you open your eyes, and he's sliding down this magical looking cupcake to you. Enjoy your prize, you lucky! Feast! Yeah, thank you Feasting! So much. Thank you. Fairy! Thank you. I'm good. I'm fighter! Better. I just open my mouth and fall forwards onto it. <laughs> You're gonna eat it now? <coughs> I don't I didn't even listen to what it did. He didn't even tell me what it did. He wasn't going to. I eat it now. Gillian disappears. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm Gillian. Gil! <coughs> hey, has anyone seen my friend? He was like right here, this tall fish. Do you actually just like eat the whole cupcake? 
Um, and when you fall on it? I guess it'll just be a bite. I'll get the icing on. I'll take I'll eat the icing. Gillian the turns visible for five seconds and then comes back in. Holy shit. Hey, you, uh, you okay? Yeah, the icing is just my favorite part. The cake was Pretzel's favorite part. Cupcakes were perfect. Uh, a white frog bounces towards you and then licks part of the icing, disappears. And then you hear strumming following up that. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And then you see uh, this very um, spunky looking gnome uh, female and uh, uh, in like bright green and brown uh, garbs <coughs> carrying this very ornate kind of like acoustic guitar looking instrument uh, with a card uh, set or like wedged in between the strings, the top part where you tune it. I don't know what it's called, the head of the guitar. And uh, she says, <laughs> well, <laughs> you're quite the eater. Is everything okay? No. Don't ask that. No, tell me. I, I want to hear. She like sits down in front of you. What's the story? I'm looking for whoever took my frogtopus from me. What's a frogtopus? Well, like <laughs> it's like an octopus, but it also looks like a frog. Kind of like this. Fits into that. Like this frog here. Oh, this is marshmallow. Hi, marshmallow. That's a really <laughs> cute food name for your pet. <laughs> what happened to your frog? <laughs> We, I was in the, um, hang on, do you have like a glass of water or something? I got a glass. Can you put water in it? I'm like all dry. You just hear like, <laughs> like dry noises. Okay, I can, I can go find water. It's okay, but she was taken by some sort of pig mask demon child creature in the Hall of Illusions. And now she's gone. Oh, well, I'm sorry, mate. Okay, um, happy you have a cool frog. You guys seem like you're so good for each other. <laughs> we do travel around quite a bit. Is um, is there any way I can help you? Let me know if you know who who took her, so I can. Uh, you you saw how I did that cupcake eating contest? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna make them do that to their own legs. That's what I'm <laughs> trying to do. So I I don't know. I guess what's what's your name? This is Marshmallow, and um, and who? Bellstrom, all the way, Bellstrom. but most people just call me Bell. Bellstrom, do you want to join our improv show? Is there any way we can help you? Probably should have asked those questions in the other order, but... It's been a while since I've done something without any kind of, you know, ahead of game planning. Here, Gil, I think I am like 80% sure this is water. Are the cupcakes still infinite over there? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> you can start eating more cupcakes. All right, uh, we'll, we'll come back. Uh, Jay... You uh, get you uh, you finally get to the Pixie Kingdom. I'm assuming you're gonna try and get yourself. No, I want to stay like this for the improv show. All I right, think it's then. funny. All right, so where where are you going then? Instead of the Pixie Kingdom, where did you go? I went to the big top. You would hear them saying, Ten minutes. Get uh, your I still tickets. Need my, I need to get my infinite apple juice here. Still, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, roll a general uh, strength check. I think you could just have this woman help you, but instead you're gonna push it <laughs> next to her. Natural twenty. Yes. Whoa! Let's go! <laughs> you know that uh, the mermaid is like getting a tank set up in the uh, like getting ready for whenever you call on them. So um, in that case, we'll go back. Uh, I can play this instrument quite well, but um, is there a, well, is there is that just all you need? Is just background music? Well, it's improv, so whatever you want to be in the moment, you can be. Wait, you're gonna join the show? Sounds exciting. Oh, yeah, I, thank I, you. I've already got like three other people joining the show. No, it'll be so good. We'll keep bringing them in. We'll do a bit or <laughs> <Okay>. something. <laughs> Sure. Oh, I also, I got these cards. We're going to do magic. Oh, cool. Cards. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is, uh, what do you have there? What? No, it's just take cards. Can I, may I see them? Hey, these are my cards. I just met you, okay? Well, hang on. You don't need to be taking my card. The cards. first rule of improv is yes and. No, if you see here, and she like points to the card that's resting in, I am, uh, I'm a fan, ta fan, fan of different uh, playing cards. Can I, ju oh, I just, oh, sure. Here, do you want one? Yeah, I'd love to look at one. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Now hold out the deck. <laughs> oh no. This might be the perfect time. Guys, I have given the players a deck of many things. <laughs> we will now use it to hurt NPCs. <laughs> How about that one? That one's good. Oh, this one looks neat. There you go. Balance. 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 <laughs> what is balance? That's the one that changes their, their alignment. Oh, cool. Balance. That changes their alignment. Wow. I need more balance so, in my diet. What does balance do? It, it changes their alignment. It mirrors it. So if they're chaotic, 
good, then they become <laughs> lawful evil. Oh, what is Oh on? my god. <laughs> <laughs> we just created a monster and invited it to our improv show. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! I I was gonna draw one as a bit, and I'm so glad I didn't. <laughs> because you would that really be villain. so bad. This card glows in their hands, and then disappears and re-enters your deck. Well, that's a cool magic trick in itself. Yeah, that's pretty so cool. So you know, you wanted me to join your crew for the the improv <laughs> show. You notice how my gaze has changed? Yeah. No, what, where did the Where did the card go? You. Oh, I think it went back into the deck right back here. Into the... What happens if you look through? Can you look through the deck? Uh, I don't think so, actually. I'm pretty what, sure. What happens if you try? I'm just genuinely curious. Everything happens. I think it's just stuck inside of a case, like the case, oh. like that box, and you just declare oh. how many you draw, and you have to draw. Oh. She says, "All right, well, I'll just take one," and then takes it, and then it. Poof, and she looks at it, her eyes glow, and then it goes back in the deck. Yeah, I think that's a cool enough. To, you bust that out of the improv show. We're gonna be gold. We pull that out if we run out of bits, okay? And then we're good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All it's right. It's just like our, our our fail safe. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. The frog that's been smiling this whole time and looking cute is just straight face. Like. <laughs> awesome. What's yeah. up with your, your frog? What's wrong, little marshmallow? Want a sweet? And I'm going to try and give him a little cupcake. When he, uh, uh, okay, he, he licks the cupcake, but you now see his teeth are inside or serrated like a shark. Oh, huh. Yeah, we'd be happy to join your show. Well, what, what can you do? I don't know. I think maybe we need like a, like an audition or something. She strums the uh, like the kind of sort of uh, lute, I guess. It's a really well-designed metal lute. Mm -hmm. And she says, love plays games with us all. Next one. Yeah. You need more. Well, yeah, I, I just want to hear it now. Well, pick a song, any song. Um, What's one of your do you know? Do you know uh, hmm? anything by Flo Rida? I like Flo Rida. He's my, he's my biggest inspiration. <laughs> she, she strums it and says... Shotty had them apple bottom jeans. Oh. I wish you would step up from that ledge, my friend. A mashup. <laughs> my God. You're good. You're on. You're good. You're on the team. Oh, fantastic here. I'll meet you over. Okay. We'll see you there. Wonderful. This is going to go really good. This is going to go awesome. This will go fantastic. All right. We'll see you over there. Come on, Gil. Let's find, uh, let's find Jay. Uh, wait, you're not a pixie. Is Jay still a pixie? Uh, no. She's smarter than that. Yeah, she probably fixed it. <laughs> let's go. Hey, Gilly and Chip, what the fuck? Why are you so big? Sorry, Chip, did you hear a little goblin or something? No, I, I thought that was like ringing in my ear. I, I, I've been I, getting like a tinnitus streak. I think the cupcakes gave me tinnitus. You are you good? Do you hear this? Do, try this, try this. This Wait, works for me. Just like problem, go in and out of your ears and go, ah, 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 huh. Well, um. Oh, Gillian. it's gone. Oh, God. Gillian. Jay. Gillian. Oh, my Gillian. God. <laughs> yes? I, hang, hang on, I think the, the gods are trying to commune no, with me. No, it's Killian! No, I don't see her anywhere. Killian, yes, look yes, over, I'm getting over a signal. Here. Killian! Yes? Three, Bless. God! There's just one? <laughs> Both? Okay, yes. Um, <laughs> it's, it's so good to finally uh, speak to you, Astro and Luna Day. I have so many questions that are incredibly yeah, important to me answer, to say. I'll answer them, probably. Okay, um... Uh, first, I mean, is there? Okay, man. Uh, what what is what is my destiny? Gillian, what was Gillian, I really I meant to do? Gillian, I, I I don't feel good about this bit. <laughs> oh, you know, Jay. The first rule of improv is yes and. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what improv is canonically. <laughs> yes, and uh, where 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 should we sit? I love you, Felipe. Bro, uh, you wanna you're in our improv show. I don't even care, man. You're gonna kill it. Have you ever had someone? Had what? Like, have you ever had someone? He looks at you longingly. <laughs> I look at Guys? the I look at the fishbowl, uh, and then I look back up at him and see that he's looking at me longingly. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you say I love you, Felipe, he looks at you with this longing, like I love you, Ed. I special. look between them. Anyways, I'm like this now. We're gonna have to deal with it. We can like fix you, right? How much time do we have? The 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 performers are coming on in, in like five minutes. Oh, oh shit. shit! We gotta get on top right. of the tent. Okay. You gotta get in the audience. Yes. Wait, you're, hey. you're tiny. Is this Yo. still gonna work? I'll be fine. Hey, don't worry. You see, you see the, the the fairy that you stole, and the, then the pug that's still sitting on top of the tent. I'll sprinkle some dust and get whoever wants on uh, the top back up here. Yeah? Me. Also me. And the mermaid, if she can. What? We have a mermaid. Yeah, we have a mermaid. Who? Where'd you get a mermaid? I don't know. Something about like uh, she was just in the lake. Oh, I got the mime. He's Whoa. inside waiting. Is he in the audience? Yeah. Okay. Hey, the mime and the mermaid are like dating or something. What? Yeah. Ooh, that's, how, that's how we'll end it. Oh my god. 
The proposal he yes! was going to propose. You don't make sense now. That's our finale. The mermaid, the mermaid, you would uh, know, or Felipe says, no, well, actually, she's waiting in the dressing room because she needs to be in a pool of water. Oh, so that makes sense. They're going to roll out a tank whenever she needs to come on. Oh, bet. Okay. Okay. Right. Yep. Dust me, baby. Dusting. I need to get some dust too. I need to make sure I'm right in their faces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see the sun. Always oh, oh. before a show. Oh. Yeah, baby. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Was that Doing diet, baby, or was that just fucking coke? I want to put Woo. the hole in the wall. <laughs> Did you all just snort the pixie dust? Yeah. <laughs> well, this show definitely isn't for kids. I fly like Dragon Ball Z on top of the tent. <laughs> I'm, I am pointed up like this at the sky. I'm shaking, vibrating even. So Felipe's gonna go with Jay into the audience with, uh, cause he didn't get sprinkled with dust. He didn't want to snort it. Are you guys, are you two going to cut some kind of hole in the tent so you can watch the performances before We're you can We're gonna drop on? through it. I We're was gonna, gonna break I actually in. was gonna poke a hole so we could watch, yeah. Okay, so it's just a hole like small, like Yeah, this like big. a really tiny hole where I'll just like so wait for the queue. Okay, okay. Then your view will be kind of vignetted by the tent. You won't get to see the whole thing. So Chip, Gillian, and uh, uh, the, the fairy, and the pug, Winks, all sit on top of the big top of the tent, cutting a hole in the in the in the roof of the tent to try and look in on the show. And Jay, you rush into the the, the tent moments before it starts, and you see all the lights starting to dim, but it flicker these like rainbow colors. Uh, um, and uh, you see that the sort of stage itself is completely blank with every seat in this tent filled with some sort of audience member. And you find your way to. Um, uh, you, you, Felipe finds a seat and you sit on his shoulder. All oh, right, like, oh god, damn, this looks crazy. And then after a minute of just silence inside of the tent, you hear this sort of like jump roll, and then a poof of 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 pink smoke uh, uh, that begins to like fade and sparkle and then disperse around, uh, uh, and make having the shimmering entrance. You see a very well-dressed man in a top hat that covers uh, the top half of his face as he raises this cane up in a beam of light or, or an orb of light uh, illuminates the three or, or the two spots next to him in this three circle tent. And uh, it also illuminates him as well, like three spotlights. And he says, ladies and gentlemen in all kinds of walks of life that have made it to the big top extravaganza. I welcome you to a night of delight and entertainment, magic and whim, wild as can be. Please sit back and enjoy these explosive and fiery performances and await the end of the night when one of you will show me what you've got. Begin! and he disappears again in that same kind of smoke and then three uh, other bursts of this of this mist colorful smoke turns from that smoke into like a swirl of flames and you see like circusy dressed a half orc with like the two sort of red uh, circles of paint on the cheeks and, and red horns green skin with like uh, painted lightning bolts down his torso and these big poofy striped pants he uh, blows fire this green fire that erupts into the uh, into the vicinity of this of this tent and doesn't catch the tent on fire which is pretty fucking magical already uh and all of the lights around him uh, uh, match the color of the fire that begins to swirl around in a circle above him and it illuminates the entire audience including you jay and you guys just see the little circle of flame now <laughs> uh, it is very hot since you're very close to the roof so just go ahead and roll a deck save <laughs> both chip and inkling yeah you get a plus four plus four that's crazy shit 23 11 Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gillian, you take nine points of fire damage. It kind of singes your eyebrows. And uh, you take half of that. We'll just say four. Invasion, I take nothing. I lean back. I go, whoa. Gillian, are you okay? I eat it. Fucking fantastic. And then on the left side, Jay, you would see... Uh, uh, a different set of audience members reacting to this goblin who is juggling, and then the two performers switch, and you see, uh, a re uh, like, so as soon as they switch, this uh, this swirl of flame follows the half work performer, and then turns into these flame-like wraiths or 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 will o' wisps that start to dance around and like illuminate the audience members and, and like do some sort of interactive uh, uh, show. This, I lean down to Felipe and say, this has nothing on our improv show. <laughs> the, the goblin juggler who, who shifts to the middle has these multicolored spotlights and he goes, all right, throw me some objects. I'm juggling. I uh, <laughs> put my hand through the hole in the roof and I'm gonna drop a hundred ball bearings. 
Because <laughs> he asked for something. So I'm just going to pull out a few ball bearings and say, Milk, audience, participation, and then drop them all. <laughs> um, just as you drop 100 ball bearings, he says, But only eight objects at a time. Sorry. <laughs> Does he look like he handled it well? I don't know yet. Are you drawing anything, Jay? Well, I have two short swords. Surely I don't need two. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so you throw you throw a short sword at him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's like a toothpick for him. It's, it's like a toothpick, yeah. He's a goblin. So it shouldn't matter when he dies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you see uh, multiple people. You throw out this tiny little uh, like toothpick size uh, sword uh, that sticks into like an apple. That someone throws at him, and then all of a sudden, a hundred ball bearings fall from the ceiling. <laughs> he rolls a three, and then, <laughs> 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 and now he is trying to juggle on one foot. But then someone, someone throws a tiny hourglass with sand at him, and he slips at that moment, trying to catch it. Here, I got something too. Drop a hammer. Three <laughs> <laughs> falls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing this guy lying on the ground. And he's drawing. <laughs> the moment he slips, and you see he's about to drop everything that was thrown at him, he disappears in a cloud of smoke. And then you see a hammer cut through the smoke and hit the ground, revealing another performer standing outside of this small box like small wooden treasure chest shaped box and then all of a sudden as they 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 enter and emerge from the smoke from the right side or or whatever opposite side that i described the half work move to you hear and three clowns are shot out of a cannon across the tent uh trailing trails there, of like sparkling dust behind them there's a clown gun there's a clown cannon as they are shot out of the cannon and start flying through the big top. The half-orc performer, those wraiths and wisps of fire, form three circles in front of the performer who is right in front of the box, and they fly through all three flame circles in front of you. And then, as that happens, those two performers poof, disappear in a cloud of smoke, and then one spotlight that's multicolored shines. This is this. a lot. Are, are those c clowns? Not anymore, they went away. Oh God. This one light shines. On, a, on like a half elf dressed in the same sort of fantastical outfits like carnival outfits and then you watch as she begins to contort herself into this small tiny wooden box for her legs and then she begins to bend like like she's malleable like she's made of rubber almost when she begins to bend inside of the small box and then she closes the box whisper er, waving up at the audience and then waves directly at uj closes the box it locks and then poof, it disappears in a cloud of smoke is she okay she's never getting out of that I think she's gonna be in that box forever. Can I do an insight check to see if she's ever gonna get out of that box? Like, <laughs> did she look like she was safe? You can do an insight check. Thank you. I got a natural 20. Oh I have to save her. Um, I mean, with an insight check, you know that they are performing and this is part of the performances. Whoa, they're performers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she's not really in a box. No, no, and those weren't really clowns. They were just oh, people dressed god. up as clowns. Oh my god, I was really nervous. <laughs> Me too. I hate clowns. Oh. In the center stage, uh, after the contortionist disappears in a cloud of smoke, you then hear the sounds of, of, uh, of almost like car engines revving and the sounds of horns like blaring from some some uh, distant entrance. And then you see like a, almost like a fucking dust, like dust cloud uh, uh, bl explode in some uh, off to the side where the dressing room entrance is. And then you see these pixies on weasels dash out of the cloud of smoke. I feel like a scared baby being shown all the stimuli at once. You know, I'm, so, I'm like so afraid. And they begin to race their weasels. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> so it's these, it's these chariots with the pixies inside of it pulled by weasels and then eight of them start to like run around the very edges of the the inside of the big big top trip let me know if you see anyone who you think would be good for our improv show by the way i think all of these people would be good for our improv show but we they're doing their own show you're right <laughs> you think theirs is better than ours no i we haven't done i don't ours know yet. they're doing pretty and good down there i don't know if our, what ours will be but i know that this is not going Hear to me be out. as good yes should i drop it I, but they're doing a performance they would be so they didn't even ask for balls this time I think it would add to it, just like it did with the last guy. Well, Chip, you are quite the performer, so if anyone's got an intuition, it's you. All right, here we go. What did you just drop? A thousand ball bearings. <laughs> a paper with 1,000 ball bearings written thousand on it. A thousand ball bearings, huh? <laughs> 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 a thousand ball bearings. Yeah, a thousand. Okay, uh, Chip, here's, here's what I want you to do. 
Bro, Gillian throw drop ball bearings. It's like Gillian I drop ball bearings. for him though. He certainly did. I'm just stupid. Roll a uh, a wisdom saving throw. Fucking oh, fuck. You get a plus four. Plus four. That's added on to my plus zero. You're not a chip is not wise. Yeah, that checks out for what just happened. Yeah. Eighteen. Okay. Only your head gets turned into a frog. And Philippe, like, if you look just like Felipe now. What? It's just like the woman in that horse. Hey, Gil, there's a bug in here. <laughs> <laughs> Got These it. twins dressed with, uh, like, a sun mask and a, a, a like, a moon mask. Uh, just like, like, masquerade masks. They start swinging on rope and ribbon. Uh, um, and that sort of, and performing this sort of amazing act of agility and balance. At the same time, the ball bearings fall and the ball bearings all turn. <laughs> As your head turns into a frog, they turn into like almost like sparkling stars. They begin to fall like shooting stars. I didn't know you had secret pocket pocket sparkles. I told chip. you it would add to it. That did add to it. That was incredible. Oh. The, as the pixie weasel race is happening on the below, and these twins are doing this uh, sky ribbon dance, they at the end of their performance they overlap so that the moon is in, the moon mask is in front of the sun mask. Oh, it's like the eclipse. And then they. <laughs> disappear you hear the same sort of uh, uh drum roll after all of that uh all of this sort of uh, excitement and cheers happen as all of these performers come out and do their thing in quick succession and then you again see that man distinguished dressed in that suit and he says and now for an improvised performer chosen from the crowd hey big me <laughs> i do have a question is this the man that i saw in yep. the hall yep. of Illusions. Illusions. He says, me, me, it's me, no, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, are you scanning the room? Jay, <laughs> I just rolled something. Roll, roll, uh, just roll persuasion. Seven plus two, nine. Nine? Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Felipe! <laughs> 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 he rolled a 16, bro. <laughs> God damn it. You're on his shoulder. So you yeah. are with Felipe, okay? So he starts to walk out. Uh, he goes, he looks at his shoulder. Uh, you ready for this thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I'm totally ready. This is going to be fucking awesome. Up. Like Spider-Man, the man in the suit casts a rope and then swings off into like the one of the distance. And then Felipe and Jay walk into the, the center. And they look around and people are hushed and silent and they're waiting they're waiting expectantly after seeing this sort of like magical display of such talent and skill and felipe goes well where, where are the others <laughs> <laughs> they're on the roof what they're on the roof you're gonna descend once we give them the signal all right i give him the signal he raises his middle finger up <laughs> I have flips off the entire audience. <laughs> What's he doing Felipe, down there? I don't I, think that's the signal. I don't know, but we need to wait for the signal. Are they starting us up right now? I think. You think he's like making them disappointed so that when we get there, it's like, whoa. Okay. That's gotta be it. Felipe's okay. gotta, oh, be gotta be it. plan. All right, locked in. Jay, my reputation is not gonna be ruined by them. Okay? We're gonna okay. have to do something together. All right? Yep, he's just he's just standing there like talking to his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do we what do we have to do? Jay, I need you to follow my lead, baby. It's improv time. Okay. And he puts his hand on. It's my... also shorts. All right, shorts, get <laughs> on my hand. He holds he holds Jay Pixie with the cat ears, who is like glowing at this point, um, because of the pixie dust in front of him, and he looks around, and everyone starts to like, get into it, like invested, as he's just slowly like presenting Jay, and then he looks at you and he says, "I want a divorce." <laughs> no! Ah! Honey, I'm home! And I cut a hole in the fucking tent and just fall on top of them. All of us, I cut a hole so big that we all fall through the tent. Alright, so all of you start crashing through the tent in this like, like very slow motion display as like, uh, like the light from the moon shines where Felipe is standing and you guys start plummeting towards the ground. What's the plan? Okay, so I would like to, um, kind of gasp. fall down, fall down in like, <clears throat> kind of do a roll and end off in like in like a bow with my hands down and i want to lift it up and as i come up i want my outfit to change including my head back to a person uh, as i disguise myself as as a as more of like a showman type with a with a long like red coat with gold accents and this gold awesome. vest down in the middle these black pants that have like very shiny well-kept shoes my my hair is like almost slicked back and i've got this cap on holding my arms out with everyone behind me the thing about improv is no one knows what'll happen next and i start eating sand <laughs> <laughs> so you take a scoop of the ground and just put it into your mouth as soon as you do that your appearance changes into any clothes that you would like 
Any clothes? Do you keep the dread helm on? Oh, I guess the dread helm will come off for this. Cool. I turned into Hugh Jackman from The Greatest Show. <laughs> <laughs> but blue. <laughs> but you're blue now. I'm Blue Jackman. I want to land down. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for being a part of our improv show here. We are a little group called, and I point over to the others. Friend, friend, friends, friends with the fishes. Fishes, yeah. No, lame as fuck, guys. Friends with Felipe. Friends with Felipe. And yeah. Felipe. Yeah. It's Felipe. Yeah. yeah, that's me. We have a great show off for you for you all tonight. Maybe, probably. But first, I'd like to start off with a little bit of magic. Whoa! So I'd like a volunteer from the crowd. Maybe you, sir. Who do you point at? The mime. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I look at the mime, I smile, I reach my hand out, and I cast Vortex Warp, and I would like to just clench my hand, and now he's just in my hand. <laughs> he needs to make a, a, a con save unless he's willing to be on the doing the improv show with us. Uh, 13? 13 fails. So for him, it's like an interstellar where you go warp speed and then you're somewhere. I am just now, I like hold my hand out and do this, and then I'm grabbing him, this mime by the collar. <laughs> he, he looks terrified. He's like being pulled up by his shirt. Right, thank you so much for your You're consensual lucky. volunteering. We you. Now, we're we going to do a little bit of magic. And yes, I and. Yes, and. Ooh. Yes. So terrified. everybody, <laughs> I want you, I want you to keep quiet. We need to maintain the illusion. I would like you to pull one of these cards. Pick a card, any card. The way that that deck works is they have to draw from the top. Pick a card, any card, and uh, this one. <laughs> I hold out the deck of cards to him. This is so fucked up. This is fucking awful. I'm so cons I'm genuinely so worried because I was really rooting for this guy. The mime, the mime looks at you hesitantly and like is sweating and doesn't look like he wants to pull the card. But if you're <clears> insistent, <throat> just go ahead and roll. Uh, oh, I think our guest is a little shy, guys. All right, fine. You can go on. Maybe. How about? You'll pick one. All right. And I pick one. No, no, no. The card? Rogue. Looks like I'm going rogue. <laughs> An NPC, you feel someone suddenly become very hostile to you, but you are not sure who it is. Can they please jump on the stage and like, we think they're a volunteer and they just start stabbing the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gil, I meant to pick a volunteer. Oh, okay. I see. Can I look around and see, do I like feel that in my, I like feel that someone gets mad at me? Can I look around and see if I can see who's mad at me? Yeah. Okay, lady, now's your chance to shine. I push the, the, the mermaid out into the stage now. If it's Felipe, dude, I'm gonna be <laughs> wrecked. <laughs> that was on my head and I was just contemplating the consequences. You know what, no, I'm going with it. No. Felipe cracks his knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at you and he says, I don't know why, Gilead. But I hate you. And he goes to punch you in the face. <laughs> Felipe, you're great at the- <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Magic, everybody! I, I let him hit me because I think it's a bit. Oh, okay. In that case, um, he does uh, two, three bludgeoning damage. Okay. Yeah, bitch. You're my worst enemy now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, these guys are really duking it out. Uh, and you are- I, I look at the crowd and, and Gillian realizes that he- can't that improv is all just one big lie and just start sweating? No, no, you actually would see in Felipe's eyes, not lying. Come on, Gil, yes, this. and. All right. Yes, and. Punches you again. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yes, and why? <laughs> all right. And while they duke it out, a mermaid, I guess. And Jay pushes out a mermaid uh, or tries to, you, you would actually need help with the mermaid. The platypus is helping The platypus me. is here. The platypus helps, as well as the uh, the the uh, um, Bellstrom, who starts helping you pull the mermaid up, and she's like nodding at you and like playing music for the entire time for your for your show. And uh, the mermaid comes out and starts to sing along to the to the the, the strum of Bellstrom's uh, strumming. But she looks over and she sees the mime who's being pulled out of the crowd and sort of standing now offhanded or awkwardly off and her voice stops and she begins to like tear up inside of the tank. You can see the sparkles and uh, she gets too nervous to even begin to sing. You you can sing, I believe in you. Okay, persuasion. Come on, kid, you're on. Felipe and I believe in you too. That's a stunt. Can I, can I assist by saying, come on, kid, you're on. <laughs> yeah, ad advantage. Okay. 12. She, she sings, but it's trembling. But as she's singing, the color in the mime's clothes, skin, and hair and eyes begins to come to life. And he, in a smile, like a smirk sort of creeps along his face. Holy shit. 
I mean, and hey, look at that, folks! Restoring color to the, the to the mime. Uh, I yeah, I look at the I look at the mime and I say, "Looks like you found your voice after all." Oh! <laughs> I get punched in the face by Felipe. Oh, bastard! <laughs> <laughs> all right, and for this next one, I'm also going to need another volunteer, and I'll step out into the audience. I don't know how much how how serious you want me to take this, but I'd really like if when I start walking, I could just grip into the air and a cane appears as I begin walking through through the crowd. Um, because you have someone helping you who changed both Gillian and Jay's clothes. If you wanna, well, yeah, I'm just a like? tiny little fucking pixie with like a blue dress or something. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> as I'm walking, also through she looks like Zac Efron from the Greatest Show. <laughs> yeah, I'm Zac Efron. I'm Zac Efron from the Greatest Show. <laughs> walking through the crowd and I and I tip my hat. You man, what is your name? And I hold up an imaginary microphone that becomes a real one. <clears throat> uh, it's a very young, blonde-haired girl who says, I'm Emma, Emma Amelia. Amelia, that's yeah. so great. I throw the microphone back behind me and it hits Gillian in the fucking head. Oh! <clears throat> yeah, I have a really big like... job for you today <laughs> and I'm gonna need some help. Do you think you can do that, Amelia? <laughs> yeah, what do you want? All right, well, my friend Gillian is about to lay an egg, and I need your help <laughs> yep, making sure it out. happens. Oh, oh. So come you're on up to knock, the stage. You're gonna knock the eggs out of me, Felipe? Is that what you want? I'm gonna rip your fucking intestines <laughs> off. I, I'm, I, I pull her by the hand very gently up yeah. to the stage. Uh, all right, Felipe, that's enough, man. No, fuck him, I'm gonna kill him. I wanna, I wanna just... <laughs> He's my enemy, holy... <laughs> Remember, it's <laughs> yes and Chip Felipe gets it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna beat the eggs out of him. Gil, if you could just... Bah, okay, stop hitting... Gil? Just what? Another Felipe, one? Just really? lay down, just lay down. Just lay down. Just lay down. Just lay down. What, what, what does Amelia do? Um, all right. I need you to focus really hard and close your eyes and try and deliver the egg. A whole you you notice a whole person's spell has been casted on 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 uh, fucking Felipe by the Belstrom, the bard. So he's he goes he's punching in the stomach and then he goes, uh motherfucker. I, I look at him with dead serious eyes and say, Why'd you stop? <laughs> 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 and then he, and then you have to lay. Are you laying down? Are you falling, Chip? I want, I want Gillian to lay down. Okay, I lay down in front of Felipe. Not sure where the bit is currently going. <clears throat> I want, I want Amelia to, to quote unquote, like deliver a baby, but deliver like an egg. Why would you choose a child? Yeah, this, for is, this? A, this is this is great for the improv. First, first person. This is fantastic improv. Are you assisting, Jay? I just... With the birth? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Hi, it's me, the midwife. Let no, me what, it. what would Jay do right now? <laughs> I guess I'm assisting with the bird. Am I pregnant? <laughs> Felipe! Yes. yes, Gillian, you are. And you're understand. about to deliver a beautiful, beautiful egg. Felipe, what Give was this. in your portion? It's all right. I'm here for you. Amelia, we need your help. You're the only doctor in the city who can take care of this. I didn't know I could get pregnant. You breathe, need to help me. Breathe. Breathe! Oh, 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 okay, okay. okay. I don't know how I know this. Close I'm like 12. Eyes. I have no idea how this works. If she closes her eyes, I want to sleight of hand. All right, I'm closing slip, my eyes. Slip the egg into her hand. Roll and it, roll that, it. Slide in. That is a 17 what plus 11. What the fuck 11, is happening, 28. Man. 28. Uh, you, you, uh, um, like, like a fucking magician, you, uh, uh, egg appears in her hand. Just like that. <gasps> Here you go, Gillian. My baby! Your beautiful baby! My beautiful baby! Oh my god! And it's cracking too! Toss it here, toss it here, I toss think it the here. baby's coming! Toss it here! She's, she's the fucking one that's holding the egg. The MP, the little girl. Toss it! Let me, let me see it! Let me see my it'll child! Break, it'll break. Let me see my, she, my, my son, baby. my daughter! Look at that! It's, Wait, it's cracking! It's Hang pecking, on, Gil! It's pecking! It's pecking out of the egg! We gotta get it out of there! Ah! 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 Oh my god, it's your baby! This is nonsense. This is the worst show I've ever been a part of. Wait a second. Oh no, it's twins. And I want to cast Fine Steed. And can I give birth to, to a horse? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Um, it takes 10 minutes to cast. So I go into labor. <laughs> okay, while you're, while you're doing that, what's left? And look at that, everybody, a live birth here on the stage. How beautiful is it? Doesn't that just warm your heart? Can I use my disguise self to like write something on my hand? Yeah, if you can, if you can change your appearance, you can make like a thing on your hand, sure. I wanna, I wanna just have one hand say say and then aw. Can I convince the crowd to go aw? They do. 
Like, oh. I start, I use shape water to and shoot a geyser out between my legs. <laughs> oh my God, it's twins and the water's breaking. Nurse Jay, what do we do? Also, I'm Amelia, you can go back and sit down. I just like push Amelia away. You can go back Front and sit row, down. There's a, a sign up here that says Splash Zone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you see, you see a, a an awful camera shot of Gillian's legs on either side <laughs> and a geyser of water spraying over oh, the entire oh, audience. No. Oh my God. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to cut it off. Cut what off? Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Why do you sound like that? I'm sorry, Gillian. No, Jay, we have one more thing, the finale. Oh yeah, that's right. While he's giving birth, <laughs> we also we also have a special moment that a couple oh people God. here need to share. What the fuck? You're now, I've heard some heartwarming oh. stories in my time, but nothing as heartwarming as this. As you know, this mermaid who is just kind of writhing on the ground has been singing for a little bit and our mime here has been coming back. A little more color to him. And I think he's got something to say. Take it away, my friend. He looks around and he points at you and he looks kind of like irritated. He points to his throat and... I'll translate for you. You say as I cast shape water on my juices and they say, I love you in the air. In front of him, they reform and it says, I love you in a beautiful prismatic spray I'm gonna... from my fish gooch. And your gooch juice is just that I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Snap my fingers, I become a mime and I'm going to try and translate what he's saying. I'm gonna throw up, dude, this is too much. He gets the message that you're trying to translate. So he looks at the mermaid inside of the tank and she uh she looks very very nervous now but when she sees the gooch juice she uh <laughs> yeah. begins to uh understand the purpose of this mm, and yeah. she shapes water inside of the tank and creates uh the similar sort of uh heart above the tank and and uh and then it falls back in and uh the mime begins to oh no way pull out a real box and the music sort of uh, and he is he is colorful now after hearing some of her music but it is starting to fade when she's not singing. He exaggeratedly puts the box in his hand and shows it and then opens it up and then shows it around to everyone and to you. Is it a real box or is it? It's, it's, like, it's like a small box with a with a big yellow ribbon, a, a small pink box with a big yellow ribbon Aww. wrapped around. And he shows everyone else what's inside before he shows the mermaid. And in the same motion as he's flipping the box toward her, he gets down on one knee, but he can't say anything. And you see as out of uh, uh, um, between Hugh Jackman's legs, uh, there comes a great Blue Jackman. Blue ju between Blue Jackman's legs, there comes an especially great geyser that lights up behind him, and it says, Blue Jackman. And "It says, will you?" Question mark, and then uh, 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 and then turns into 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 sparkles, and then one more push, ah! and then marry me. He mimes to you, and um. Chip it speaks the words as he does, and this pops up above him. Um, and he says, Your voice is the only time I feel comfort in such a chaotic, wild world. When I begin to lose myself, your singing brings me home. I cry. <laughs> I cry. I cry as these words are sprang out of me. Though my voice may have been stolen, the first thief I met was you, and now my heart is with you always. Will you, even though I can't speak, be with me forever? Forever? <laughs> oh no, the second baby's coming! <laughs> <laughs> and at that moment, uh, a horse pops no, out no, of Gillian's no, no, like, I have, I have, oh, I have oh, an idea. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Let it happen. Okay. The mermaid looks so um, emotional. And uh, she swirls around, creating this sort of watery vortex um, inside of the the, uh, the the tank that that then sprays out amongst amongst the, the the inside the interior here of the carnival. And she begins to sing this sort of like Ariel from Little Mermaid esque uh, vocal scale. And then when it all simmers down, she can't get the words out, but she nods and just smiles faintly. At him. Here it comes. <laughs> and you see as Puddle blasts out between my legs, like that one Lord of the Rings scene when they come, the fucking water horses come down the river, and it blasts out, and I use shape water to create an ice sign on the back of Puddle that says, Just Married, and Puddle <laughs> sweeps up the mime and the mermaid, since Puddle is made out of water as they do a lap, and I'm, I, 
and I give them I give them puddle to ride off into the sunset. <laughs> they start riding around the 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 inside of the big top tent and a big uh, top tent. And at this point, all three of you make a performance check. Just because of that ending, you all get advantage. Little guy. <laughs> oh, that was a two. One on my first okay, one. hang on. That's a four. Nineteen. Dude, I got a thirty. No shot, man. Yeah. I got a thirteen. I got a twenty-three. The entire audience erupts in a cheer, and uh, these sort of like fiery. Uh, uh, what is? I don't know what the, the little mechanisms are, but it's like bursts of pillars of fire start to just shoot up around and cause like even the even the the, the roof of the tent displays magical fireworks inside of it. Thank you, Look, thank you. We, we are friends of Felipe. Felipe. I'm not friends with nobody. Get over here. Let me go. This couldn't have been Let possible without. Oh, 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 oh. Come here. Ah! Like, those are like 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 to beat the shit out of you. Yeah, you take. Uh, you take four points of bludgeoning damage. Fuck! And you hear uh, the same voice sort of booming out around this vicinity. Uh, the the pers- the ringmaster of this this extravaganza he says, "Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do sincerely hope you've joined, you've enjoyed the show." Hey, where's Perry? <laughs> <laughs> Join us at the end of the night where we crown the monarch. The one who has brought the most joy to the carnival as the mood begins to swell and rise. And I hope that all of it. And then his, uh, his sentence gets cut off in a moment and you hear the shattering of glass. And you notice, you look over, you see that tank the mermaid was in explodes into shards. And you watch those pieces of glass shoot out into the audience member. And what the fuck? Stab some of them in the shoulders. Other ones get hit in the face and it cuts them off. And then you see rising up from behind that shattered glass when this chaos begins to erupt, you see holding that metal guitar. No fucking no. way! At Bellstrom, who says, I've had enough of this stupid carnival. Hey! Improv's not supposed what to hurt hell? people. It's supposed to help them. I you know, know no, improv patience. artists. No, we have to yes and. Yes and, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> I'm all out of patience, mates. And this carnival is going down. I pull out my sword. No, it's you that's, I mean, yes, and it's also you going to. How do we yes and this? I don't know. Uh, I draw another card from yes. the deck. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking serious? It feels like everything's just going to shit. I don't really know what's going on anymore. Just... Do you really? <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a chance to change your mind. Really think about the implications this could have on your character. I need you to consider all of the possibilities and don't think about the humor that would come after me explaining this and you doing it anyway. <laughs> Please, I need you, you to, I need you, you to think about tank, it. Bro. Don't do Fuck! it! What is it? <laughs> oh my God. That I, is- that is, what is that? That's the worst one. That's the one that he. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Tell me right now. Dungeon. As soon as at the end of this carnival, when it erupts in chaos, and you see that Bellstrom has it's essentially killed multiple people by exploding this glass tank and declared that this carnival is going down along with the rest of you because they ran out of patience. Gillian then draws a deck. A card like I do it like Yugi. I draw a card from this this deck in a in a in a sense where you weren't even expecting it, and in that moment, he just disappears. I feel like we were just making shit up at the. Gil, did you eat Gil? the cupcake again? Gil, I go reach out to where he was. He's gone. What the hell? What the fuck happened to Gillian? That's where we end the session. <laughs> what the fuck did I just do, bro? So the two of you, Jay and Chip. What the fuck is going on? You're not surrounded by screams. My, as, <laughs> as I say, what the fuck is going on? And I'm sitting around in the fire. I just kind of bloop. And then I'm back to my normal shitty clothes and frog head. <laughs> the frog head is gone. Oh, okay. You guys are now the entire big tent is in panic. Everyone is screaming. You don't know where Gillian is. <laughs> and you are looking at a very powerful, magical music person who seems very evil <laughs> and angry. How does Felipe feel about me suddenly vanishing? Oh, he goes, well, suddenly I'm not so angry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to end it. <laughs> oh, my God. That is such a funny way to end. All oh, right. shit, man. Well, I guess we can talk about that. I'm just rolled with it. Yeah, yeah. Guys, go over to Patreon. Well, we, well, we, we will have a lot to talk about. Um, and it will also be explained to me what the fuck is going on. That's improv, baby. Wow, that was uh, that was an episode, huh? Yeah, that absolutely, that absolutely happened. Damn, 
Uh, anyways, time to do the patron read. You know what we have to do here. We got a shout out to all the awesome patrons over at patreon.com slash just roll with it. We're at the $50 high roller tier. So let's get a shout out for Okeb Kerberos. Is that how you say it? Okerberos? All right, that's a new one. What's up, Okerberos? Did someone say Colin? I'm butt flusting. Flusting? What the fuck is that? Agar Steeljaw, Beans, Wolfie, Jaden Grant, Joe Teague, Pippin the Oracle, or Pippin? I think it's Pippin. Pippin the Oracle, not Pippin the Oracle. That's different. Just Gherkin, uh, Mega Scion, Psionix, Tane Lambert, the Snazziest, Sweet Cacti, Baka Seven, Cal's the Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, Fly Guy, Amber Curry, Icy Sharky, Man Madelm, Magu, Your Personal Jester, Jordan Darlin, Red Sus Over Paradise. How you guys come up with these names, man? Sleepy Wither, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Clever Everest, Recat, Kev Senpai, Figuratively Speaking, Finrua, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Jew Zombo, Boss Goat, Grand Archer, Rikor Teason, Artemis Loves You, Definitely Not a Turtle, Everett Stoker, Krobins, Megan Elliott, Netven, Deathclaw, Scarab 5, Sandy 007, Cheshire, Star Crowned Ravings, Blue Blend Blop, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg. Damn, you got more names in here now, remember. What's up, everybody? Holy shit. Alyssa, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Raytheon, Spoogaloo, Neo Draconis Stewart, Serena's actually a skeleton, Material Seaweed, Teddy Loves Bites, Gillian's biggest fan, Cornier Comet, your NB pal Val. Riker Kurotu, I can remember that one every single time. Nonslottle, Funny Hats Incorporated, JRWI Enjoyer, and Jay Newell. Holy shit. And hey, listen, if you want to add to this ever-growing list of names at the end of the episode, make sure to head over to patreon.com slash just roll with it, and I will yell your name at the top of my lungs at the end of an episode. Anyways, thank you so much for making it this far in our Just Roll With It episode. Um... You gonna wanna stay tuned for the next one. I've already seen it. I already know what happens. I'm gonna be both from the future. Okay, bye.